Swinburne University of Technology. When I finished my PhD, I first had a postdoc um, in the US, which was a, predominantly a teaching position with also a bit of research. And then I had a postdoc in France, which was mostly research. But because of my teaching, I got quite interested in what they were doing here at Swinburne. The Centre for Astrophysics was created in 1998, and in 1999, um, I heard about some great things that they were doing here at Swinburne, and I contacted them to find out what was going on. I'm an Associate Professor of Astrophysics at Swinburne University in the Centre for Astrophysics and Supercomputing. Well, I work in the area of planet formation and what I'm particularly interested in is the very first stages of planet formation when tiny little grains of dust grow in size to become the larger building blocks that will eventually make you know, a big rock like this one that we're standing on now. What really attracted me to Swinburne was that it was a very young, dynamic group. The centre was clearly very well funded and supported. Everybody worked very hard together to build a really sort of cohesive team which was dedicated to excellent research as well as excellent teaching. The Swinburne supercomputer was very attractive to me. My PhD is in computational astrophysics, um, so having direct access to your own supercomputer which you can play with was, uh, was extremely attractive. So over the last 10 years, the Centre for Astrophysics and Supercomputing has grown enormously. So we're now up to about a team of 60 all up, uh, which is, makes us the second largest astronomy group in Australia. Here at Swinburne, we've got people who are experts in optical astronomy, in infrared astronomy, radio astronomy, computational astrophysics, which means that when you've got a PhD student or a range of PhD students working in those areas, they've got experts they can come and talk to right here in their own group. Generally what happens in astronomy um, is you apply for time on both national and international telescopes and you go through a peer review process to gain time on that telescope. That's what I do for the Australia Telescope Compact Array which is a millimetre and radio telescope in New South Wales. Swinburne again has something quite unique in that we have direct access to the Keck Telescope in Hawaii. It's an eight metre telescope, absolutely world class telescope. The university funds the centre quite well and for me personally that level of funding has meant that I can do my research, it means that I can go to the telescopes, do my observing trips, go overseas to work with collaborators, go to international and national conferences. PhD students also have quite good travel funds which allows them to get out in the world which is really important for them. Um, in the centre we also have funding for visitor programs so we have you know, weekly colloquium, we have people either from Australia or overseas come and talk to the whole group about their astronomy, take the PhD students out for lunch, talk to them in a bit more detail, which is really important for the students, gets them known, they get to know other astronomers internationally and nationally, which is very important for their long-term career. Swinburne has a virtual reality theatre and um, over the past 10 years I've been quite heavily involved in our public outreach program. We have a program called Astro Tour where we bring school kids into the VR theatre and take them on a 3D flight through the universe. And I think that the centre as a whole really is very passionate about public outreach. You know, we really want to inspire kids to be fascinated by astronomy, not necessarily to become astronomers later in life, but just to appreciate science, appreciate the world that they're in. Astronomy both within observational and computational areas require a lot of technology and I think a lot of technological developments come from the type of problems that astronomers face which require either astronomers themselves but more generally people outside of the area of astronomy to come up with innovative solutions to the types of problems we have. This has been a Swinburne production. Thank you.